Russia is trying to do what it did in the Soviet era and wean itself off of foreign money. The Kremlin retaliated against European and American sanctions over the invasion of Crimea by blocking those countries from selling it food. Overnight, more than half of Russia's meat, vegetable, and dairy imports became illegal. President Vladimir Putin has said the country could become self-sufficient by 2020. And to do that, the government is pouring in money and mirroring the countries it wants to do without. В Брянске я поработал два с половиной года на крышах, крыши делали. И потом кум меня позвал, говорит, пойдем, говорит, зачем тебе эти крыши, говорит, высота, все, ну пойдем попробуем. Oleg and Sasha are living the closest thing to an all-American ranch life that you can get in southeastern Russia. Нет, раньше никогда не слышал, что в России есть ковбои. Я знал только что есть в Америке. Это тоже, это не легкая работа, но она очень мне нравится со сканером там, допустим, в той же комплектации, либо с компьютером. А здесь я работаю на коню. А, с лошади, естественно, можно упасть. Being a cowboy wasn't even a job in Russia 10 years ago. Today there are a thousand of them. They work for Mira Torg, Russia's biggest meat producer owned by the oligarch brothers Victor and Alexander Linyak. Нужно как можно ближе становиться к лошади, чтобы лошадь не смогла ударить, а смогла только взять и оттолкнуть. Since 2010, the company's bought almost 2 million acres of ranch land. Some was abandoned, left by farmers who followed Russia's new economy, or by the collapse of Soviet farming collectives. While Russia doesn't want to rely on the U.S. for food anymore, it's not shy about importing American expertise. У нас их в этом году уже более тысячи человек. Это тот фундамент, на котором мы строим свое будущее нашей компании. Phil George, a veteran Kansas cowboy, was hired seven years ago to oversee the expansion project. <laughs> well, there's no infrastructure and no resources in Russia other than land and inexperienced people. And so we imported cattle from Australia and from the U.S. We imported uh, approximately 500 horses from the U.S. We bought saddles for every one of those horses, which is a probably the largest order ever placed for saddles in the world. It's uh, approaching to be the largest cattle project in the world now. We expect to be at uh, 400,000 uh, mother cows in about another two years. It's at least twice, almost three times as large as, as any uh, cattle ranch in the U.S. He isn't taking measurements. He's diplomatic in his new role as middleman in a trade war. I have no political views on, and really haven't, and, and very seldom discuss any political views. I mean, my my goal is to do all I can to uh, advance the the company's uh, uh, benefit. Uh, but there's also been a lot of opportunity created in America by all the money we spent there. But the meat these farms process has been a challenge to sell to Russians who didn't grow up eating Big Macs and are budgeting in a tough economy. An aged steak costs more than some Miratorg workers make in a day. If ranches want to survive, they may need to depend on markets outside the country. But Miratorg is expanding, with plans to double its livestock by 2021, so it can raise half a million cows every year. Вот он мой приз, который я получил на участие Радео. Это, конечно, не первое место, но это лучший наездник, это вообще круто, просто круто. Знаю, что некоторые поля не пахались уже лет 10 точно, 15. Засеваются зерновые культуры, кукуруза, ну, корма, чтобы заготавливать на кормление скота. Брянская область за счет этого поднялась. 